In this video, we'll find the oxidation numbers for BrF3, that's bromine trifluoride. The bromine, that's the red, and then the fluorine, those are the yellow. So we use these rules here to figure out the oxidation numbers. As we go down, we're not seeing bromine. There's fluorine, though, and fluorine's minus 1. So that's its oxidation number. So we have minus 1 for the fluorines. And then group 17, bromine's in group 17. It's a halogen. So it should have a minus 1 charge, except when it's bonded to these elements, which include fluorine. So we can't use this rule because the bromine is bonded to a fluorine. We can, however, use this rule right here because this is a neutral compound. There's no plus or minus charge up here. So in a neutral compound, all the oxidation numbers, they add up to zero. So all of these numbers, including the oxidation number for bromine, that's going to equal zero. So we have minus one, minus two, minus three. So minus three plus some number, and that number, that'll be the oxidation number on the bromine, equals zero. Minus three and plus three, that would give us zero. So this bromine here has an oxidation number of plus three. So to recap, we found the oxidation numbers for the elements we knew, and then we use this rule here that says in a neutral compound, all oxidation numbers add up to zero. And with that, we found the oxidation number for the bromine here in the bromine trifluoride, BRF3. This is Dr. V, and thanks for watching.